Hello, my name is Patricia Sicardi, and um, I am a teacher at the Nautical School of Buenos Aires, Argentina. Um, this material is mainly for uh, deck cadets at the Nautical School. We are um, in this particular situation at home with the coronavirus haunting uh, us, humanity, everywhere. So uh, we are trying to work from home uh, and, and go on learning yeah, with our courses, with the different subjects we might have uh, everywhere. So the idea is to learn some new nautical um, vocabulary today and in future classes. This is going to take long, or longer than we expected, probably. Um, so, some people may have read some general English material, but this is technical, so in a way we are all equal when we start, especially the students of first year. So, um, we may know how to say casa, libro, pared, eh, calle, but I don't know if all of you know, new students, how to say estribor, calado, casillaje, eh, ancla. So, um, try to, to be humble when we are dealing with a new technical um, jargon. So, here we are today. We are going to see the container ship. We are going to learn before the listening, that is, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes long. We are going to see uh, some vocab so that when you listen to the material, uh, it is not that difficult. Well, first of all, ship. Ship, you know, is the first generic word that you have uh, learned for barco, right? But we have vessel also, which is more technical. Vessel is buque. The way you write vessel is V-E-S-S-E-L, -S -S vessel. Okay, um, when you're on board a vessel or a ship, and you're looking ahead, the ship is moving to that direction. Um, that part that you're going to is the bow of the ship, B-O-W, la proa. Also the head, like cabeza. Now at your back, if you're going in that direction, heading uh, towards that direction, at your back is the stern, S T. E R N the stern, so the bow, the stern, and then at your sides, what have you got? Let's say right of you, starboard, estribor, and then port or port side, babor, yeah, starboard se escribe como estrella y como tablero, mesa, board, no, starboard, and the pronunciation is starboard, and then port como puerto. Yeah, P O R T, port. What else? Uh, in this lesson, we are not seeing everything, but just for you to have an idea today, you're, you're learning some some other words. Superstructure. This is where we live. El casillaje is superstructure, como super y structure, superstructure. What else? The ship may have. In this lesson, uh, it does. Uh, or she does, porque a los barcos, acuérdense, les vamos a, o no lo saben, sépanlo, los vamos a, a referir como she en inglés, ¿sí? She, uh, as, as a female invention. Uh, she may have cranes or derricks. Cranes or derricks son grúas. Uh, a veces los diccionarios técnicos ponen grúa, pluma, pluma, grúa, pero crane, derrick is basically the same thing. Pluma sería boom. B -O, -O -M. Uh, la, ma la mayor de las veces. Crane se escribe crane, crane, y Derek, as it sounds. Derek con double R, pero al final es con CK. Derek. Yeah? So Derek's cranes. Some of these words uh, I'll try to, to write at the end of this video, but uh, it's going to be quite difficult to put everything. Okay. Um, Bow, stern, we said that, starboard, port. The bridge, el puente de navegación. You will be, ideally, deck cadets today, uh, deck officers tomorrow, or mates. Um, we, we normally say first mate, second mate. Nos referimos eh, al primer oficial, segundo oficial. 
En máquinas no se usa la palabra mate, usan engineer, first engineer, second engineer, primer maquinista, segundo maquinista. So, uh, cubierta, then it's deck. Today you are deck cadets, tomorrow, hopefully, uh, after this coronavirus situation, one day you will become uh, deck officers. Well, uh, we have different decks on board the ship. What else? Some ships have got cranes or derricks. ¿Dónde va la carga? You have holds, bodegas, como sostener, tener, que es lo que hace la bodega. H-O-L-D, hold, plural holds. Hold number one, hold number two, etc. Si la carga no fuera sólida, when we don't have a solid cargo, we have liquid cargo, we have tanks, then, yeah? Tanks, uh, as in your car, yeah? You have a tank for, for, your, uh, for the petrol. But by the way, it's not petróleo, sino nafta, yeah? Well, okay, but today we are not seeing uh, a tanker. No vemos un petrolero, sino vemos container ships. ¿Cómo se dice levantar la carga? Lift the cargo. Lift, como uno se levanta las cosas que se caen del cuerpo. Eh, lift es elevar, tomar carga. Eh, cargar se dice load, load, load. Cuando vemos un archivo que está cargando decimos, o vemos en la pantalla de la computadora, loading. So, the ship is loading the cargo. Cargo tiene un O fonético al final, pero se termina con O la palabra, ¿no? Uh, cargo se escribe. Y el plural sería cargos plus ES. Cargo es. ¿no? So, the ship is loading the cargo. Cuando descarga, hay dos palabras para descarga, mientras que hay una para carga que es load. Una es unload, un load, unload. The ship is unloading the cargo, or the cargos, las cargas, or discharging, discharge, ¿eh? discharge. No se usa charge para el barco. Como uno diría, estoy cargando el celular, I am charging, y no loading my mobile. The ship is eh, loading, pero discharging or unloading the cargo. What else? In this lesson we are going to see uh, also gantry cranes. Hay grúas propias del buque, pero están las, las del puerto, las grúas pórtico. Gantry, six letters, G-A-N-T-R-Y, gantry cranes. You are going to listen to this word. Of course, the idea here today is just to listen to this, uh, these two paragraphs for understanding, and then as you before uh, learned some of these words, it's going to be easier for you to understand because this is uh, technical for you. Uh, people. Well, so what else? One or two more words and we go on. Key, very important word today. Key es muelle. Key suena como llave. En un contexto distinto diríamos la solución del libro al final, the key or the answers, pero también la llave, the key that opens the door. Cuando uno escucha acá key, que se escribe Q-U-A-Y, 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 se pronuncia key. Cuando escuchamos eso acá, hablamos de muelle. Key number three, key number two. No es la llave, es el muelle de que se está hablando. And finally, uh, one or two more words. We may say meters in England, meters or meters in the States. But uh, when we refer to the draft or um, the containers, the, the measurements of the containers, we may hear more often than not. Uh, feet, como pies. El calado de este buque es 15 pies. So, 15 feet. Yeah? Uh, el plural de foot. El deporte es football, balón pie. Un pie es foot, pero el plural no es foot, es feet, es un plural irregular. F double E T, feet. Uh, feet. No existe feet tampoco. Esto es, es parecido a, a, al tema de man, men. Yo hago, yo hago bastantes como notas a, al margen, ¿no? Pero para que asocien y, y recuerden. Uno dice officer, officers, dice ship, ships. Son plurales regulares. Agregan la S o la ES, cargo, cargos, con la ES. Pero es regular eso. Cuando uno dice man, men, eso es un, un sustantivo irregular en, 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 la, en la parte plural, ¿no? En la pluralidad. Hombres man, hombres es men, mujeres woman, plural women. 
no women's ni women's no hay ninguna S en ninguna de las dos voces so coming back to this we say foot feet a container may have 20 feet 40 feet 20 40 pies tampoco me digan pies es que está terrible eso bien eh, broma aparte sigamos eh, the draft había hablado del calado draft que suena se escribe como suena en Estados Unidos draft d r -A f t draft en England que es más complejo se escribe draught con g h t hoy no lo necesitamos pero sépanlo, la pronunciación es igual o prácticamente igual en ambos lados. En Estados Unidos dicen draft con la A, the captain, pero en Inglaterra dicen draft con la A de master. Eh, otra, otra voz, otra, otra, um, otro fonema. So, um, meters o meters in the States, uh, feet, eh, en el caso de los contenedores aquí en esta lección y ya estamos prácticamente so uh, this was a pre-listening now we are going to uh, hear myself I recorded this years ago uh, at the lab at the Nautical School Manuel Belgrano in Buenos Aires uh, it's my voice I am no professional I'm sorry about that but um, well this is what I I happen to have here today uh, and it's a good lesson for, for beginners so especially for first and um, First um, uh, years is good, both divisions, and maybe second year as well. So here we go. Um, I see you in two or three minutes, okay? The container ship. It was in the 1960s that the first container ship was built, and since then she has revolutionized shipping. A container ship is designed to carry cargo in thousands of standard size boxes, containers, either 20 feet units or 40 feet units. At the container terminals, these ships can quickly load and discharge by means of large quayside cranes called portainers or gantry cranes. The cranes lift the containers off or onto the quay or trucks and off or onto the ship's deck while a conventional dry cargo vessel may take three to four days to load or discharge a container ship can do the same in a matter of hours today container ships are seen in ports all over the world and are gradually replacing the general cargo ships seen from a distance the container ship has a very characteristic flat silhouette the small superstructure with a navigating bridge is at the stern of the ship and the many containers are stacked full of the bridge along the whole length of the vessel.